All right, everybody, our friends at Guam Regional Medical City, right down the street from us here in Harmon, they're over in Dededo, have a lot going on, a lot of different ways that they are serving the community and taking care of us. We could literally entire show on what they're doing, but Shalorna Laurent is here, and we are going to talk about, Shalorna, at least two of what you guys are doing. So thank you yes. for all the community service initiatives you're doing, first of all. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. So yeah. first of all, we said um, you are spearheading a clothing drive. Yes, we are. Actually, awesome. you know, one of our slogans at uh, GRMC is patients are partners, and we wanted to build upon that slogan, and we developed this year a program called Heartbeat, and that is our outreach and community support program. So one of the things that we are doing to help um, our hospital and also our patients in our hospital is doing this clothing drive. I hope all the cardiologists get on board with that too. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, yes. We're looking, we're we're very hopeful that by the end of the year we'll have a good uh, cardiology team. So we're very excited. We're, we're looking into building that team at very the hospital. Cool. Okay, yes. so when we talk about clothing drive, um, what age ranges are we looking for and exactly what types of clothes would you like? And maybe more importantly, what kind of clothes? Because, you know, everybody yeah, always wants to donate exactly. help. What kind of clothes will you not accept? Well, what we are accepting, um, we are looking for adult clothing. So we are looking for, of course, for T-shirts, um, blouses, jeans, shorts. And then for, we are specifically looking for clothing for newborns. So mm. um, we are looking for newborn blankets, um, clothing for maybe onesies up to six months old, uh, newborn caps, um, mittens, and um, socks mm. is what we're looking for. What we're finding is that um, a lot of our patients that come to uh, GRMC, some of them fall into the low income, low insurance, or actually self-pay, and um, some of their families cannot afford to help them. We did something similar to this back in February, which was our car seat drive, because we found that some of our patients who deliver at the hospital didn't have a car seat. And that went very well, and we had great community support. So, you know, the nursing staff, um, our um, hospital social workers, and our providers came back to us saying that this is another need that we you know, need to do as a clothing drive. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. nice. Now, I know, again, um, there might be some people and said, I've got some trucker caps or some, you know, um, some chokers or some, you know, like yes, I mean, everybody yes. just wants to help, you know, the Madonna lace glove and exactly. everything like that. <laughs> yes. yeah. that. That kind of stuff I'm assuming is kind of like on the no list. No, uh, we're specifically looking for this because these seems to be the things that are needed or wanted the most that, mm. that our nurses are saying that our patients need the most. Okay. Yeah. So even things like maybe like sweaters and hoodies, those should be okay. Jeans and... Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it was interesting because we actually had the NICU department and labor and delivery come to us. And then a few weeks later, we had the nursing department come to us from uh, uh, the adult ward. And they both needed specific items. So that's why we decided to do a combination of this. And, um, you know, the whole purpose is to help our patients that are um, admitted into the hospital that families cannot provide. And this is the reasoning why we did this clothing drive. Understood. Okay. Yeah. Well, just one question out of curiosity. I hear sometimes that um, when clothing drives like this go on, socks are kind of like kind well, of like on the fence. They say because some people that, or some organizations say, you know, we may not want to accept used socks because of right. various so health reasons. We're, we're, we're looking okay? for, for gently used and of course in good condition. And when it comes to socks, it's for the newborns, what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, adults in particular are just really the clothing that they need to wear um, and, and change whether they're staying in the hospital for a long period of time and um, just need a change of clothing. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. what else have you got going on? So, well, this drive is actually tomorrow. Okay. So, we're... we're so, everybody get out there. Yes. Hop to. <laughs> and it's from 9 to 12, uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, when you're facing the hospital, you will actually make a left to the physician parking. You will actually see tents set up. Mm -hmm. So, we made it to be very convenient for those that can just literally do a drive-by. And we'll have our nurses and volunteers there to help out to sort out the clothing. Mm -hmm. So, if you're... Able to come, come by tomorrow, 9 to 12. Okay, and if yeah. anybody has any questions, I'm sure they can reach you guys on Facebook and you guys will get yes. back to them very, very quickly. What's your Facebook actually, page? Um, we actually, grmc.gu. Um, and then um, you can also call the hospital at 645-5500. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Now, now, this isn't the only thing that you guys are doing to serve the community. Right. Now, what else have you got? We actually have on? another one coming up on the 29th. It's called the Family Diagnosed. Um, bridging, the uh, bridging the cancer communication with our community. We actually have Nancy Borowick. She is an author of The Family Imprint, and she documented uh, a whole year in photography um, her parents' journey with cancer. Mm. And she is actually going to speak about how it feels on the family caregiver side of some of the um, uh, gaps of communication on her side as a caregiver. 
Then we have Dr. Felix Cabrera that would speak on the other side of medical and how we can take both of these um, topics and bridge them so that we have a better communication. What we find sometimes is that there are um, families sometimes feel that they cannot ask questions or they shouldn't ask questions or whether it's part of their religion or how they were raised. Mm. And we kind of want to break that barrier so that there's a better understanding and how to take care and how to make right decisions or better decisions for those that are going through cancer treatment. That's a very good angle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So again, if anybody has an, any more questions or anything, they can grmc.gu. Exactly. Okay. Well, yes. thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. All right. Yeah. Come back anytime. Yes. Thank right. you. Please stay tuned, everyone. We're back after this.